Okay, uh, welcome again. Okay, let us continue. Now, in this new topic, the previous topic we learned how to create sections and you create the learn how to add pages. Okay, just on, let us talk about the, the sections and the relationship between the sections and the pages. Now, every section you must treat it like an individual book with pages see what happens if i click on second june you realize that second june doesn't have pages if i go to third june doesn't have pages but if i go to first of june you got pages now every section treated like a, a complete notebook so every section is a notebook and then every section will have its own pages so you can have pages can add pages on on uh, section two can add pages on section uh, 3 or 3rd of June okay let us pass on that one and then uh, now on this topic you learn how to use the menu on the, uh, the, the uh, you how to use the menu or how to respond to what is required from you from the question paper there are a few things that you're gonna want you to do and they are basic things for example, uh, they will say, uh, e, but in page, okay, uh, sorry about that phone, uh, I forgot to put it on silence, uh, sorry about that, okay, let us continue, now on this new one, you, you continue now to answer the question paper, the main thing for you is to learn how to use the menu, and also to learn how to print how to print a note which is important and then also how to retrieve because if they say they've loaded a one note uh, file for you you know you need to know where to find it let us start there for example if you go now on file file if you click on file you find all because you're already on notebook uh, a program it will list the notebooks that are there currently we've got this one note that you just created and then if there is any other notebook that was loaded for you it will also appear on this list if it doesn't appear you ask the invigilator to help you with the file and then you so that you can open it but it should be on this list here so to go back to the one that we just created because it's this one right here question six your id number you can see the number then you go to view the note we go back to it and then they will give you some additional question to do certain few things for example they may ask you on section one which is book one which has got a couple of pages maybe question six another page is called question six or whatever they may ask you to do certain things for example they may want you to use the drawing pen like if i go to draw and they say draw cp and six using the drawing pen pen and then if you want to uh, to to go back to your mouse you go and click on there then you got your your mouse cursor back you're no longer on the drawing function a uh, uh, mouse and then oh they may ask you to type something uh, like they said you know you need to key in the question number and the examination number in a in heading one style heading one style if you go to home you find there is heading one style and they say mark it as important they say mark it as important so it's heading one style mark it as important so i'm going to undo this and then remember they said you must type so you are going to type what a question number let's say it's question question uh question six and then your examination number and they said you must align it left so you go to the alignments alignments are on basic texts here got alignments go to align right and then you click on important 
So you need to know where to find these things. The alignments are there. Under home, you got heading styles and you got alignments. Then you got to do and you got important, you got question. They can ask you anything. So, so just understand where to find all these things. Like the drawing found it here, you can draw anywhere. After you draw, maybe they said you must mark it as, mark it as uh, to do. You mark it as to do, it, it, it gives you a check mark box. Realize I, I click on to do and it, it gives me a check mark box. And if I go back, I click on to do right, right here. You're gonna check it as to do. So it's a check mark box, and then you can go back and click uh, on the home. The check mark box must be right, which is the to do tag. It's called a to do tag. So you can put it at the beginning or you can put it at the end, as long as you checked it. So if I put it there at the beginning, I go home, I'll click on to do, and I click on the tag, and it's at the beginning. Click outside it is day. So know how to put the important and the check mark boxes and then also how to type text. Remember, immediately under the heading here, if you click at the bottom, it allows it automatically creates a text box for you to type. So you can type anything, align it, and then tag it the way they want you to tag it. Okay, now I'm gonna pause here and then the next thing they will say to you. They want you to print, but when you print, they want to see all the sections and the questions. So, when you do notebook, you cannot print all this at the same time without using what you call print screen. So, you're gonna go on your computer and you're gonna, on your keyboard, there is PRTSC. Or if your keyboard is bigger and got it written in full, it's gonna say print screen. So you press it once. I'm gonna press it once now, which means what? It takes a, a screenshot of what I'm doing here. And then I'm gonna go to programs. Let's start there. I'm gonna look for Microsoft Word. And I'm gonna open a new file, which is clean, and I'm gonna paste in my screenshot so my screenshot is gonna display everything because if I want to print the sections I'll be able I'll have to print them one by one but if they want to you to display everything you have to do it on a screenshot and then on this one you can put your you can insert your footer or a header so that you put your ID but they're already there even if you print it they are already there Okay, I'm gonna pause here for this part so that we, 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 we don't have a long clip so that you only master this one for now because printing from here is easier because you are now on Microsoft Word. Okay, before you move, you say, you realize the question paper also say you must use any method you know, which means they are not specific on how you display all the information. So any method that you know to print which means the print screen is the popular one, which is the shortcut and which is which displays everything that you did. So we prefer that you use it. 